And so we're talking about rehab loans or renovation loans. So this is great for home buyers that are looking at houses that are less than par. This would be a home that needs work. So if we're exploring those homes, especially in a low inventory market like we're in right now, um, this is a way to be able to get in a home that you already have and can kind of fix it up yourself. So John, if you want to explain. So you have three different kinds. Um, if you could go over the uh, FHA loan, your 203K loan, minimum is three and a half percent down. Uh, DIY, do it yourself. Some of that's acceptable, depends on your knowledge and background. If you're an HVAC guy, we'll let you put in your own furnace, air conditioning, etc. Seller so paid costs up to 6% of the purchase price, not the after approved price. Um, one to four families allowed. So you could take an eight family and make it a four family. We'll do that. Uh, credit score of 640 or higher. You will go down to 630. Um, home additions allowed with 203K full and structural repairs with 203K full. There's two different kinds of programs. One is a streamlined, limited, now they call it, and or a full or a standard. Those are terms that are interchangeable. So streamline is good to about $30,000 with no uh, structural issues, no moving of the walls, you know, etc. So new roofs, new windows, remodel kitchen, remodel bathroom, finish the basement, put a deck on the back, you know, all those kinds of things up to $30,000. The 203K standard or full can go up to whatever the loan limit is today, which is 334,000. And you can put second story, third storage, you can build garages, you can replace all the concrete. So there's lots of things and things that you can do under that program. Now keep in mind, um, FHA 203K is for owner-occupant buyers. This means homes that you plan on living in. This is not going to work for uh, you know strictly investment that you plan on running out or just rehabbing or resell it for profit. Now um, it's great that you do get the rehab money, but if I'm not mistaken, the interest rate is going to be higher. Obviously, it's more risk for the, for the lender. What kind of rate difference it is between normal FHA and a 203K? It's normally um, half a point difference. Okay, so it's not, not a, okay. not a great deal you know, as far as your payment goes. You know, just the risk of your loan because it's construction. Sure. You know, and that's the problem. So. Um, and bids, I know, I explain people, you have to be patient with this type of loan program because it does take longer to close. Um, there's a lot of upfront work as far as collecting bids from contractors. Um, you have to know really ahead of time of what you plan on putting into the home as far as materials so you know your costs. Uh, which is a good thing because upfront you want to know how much you're going to be putting into this home, but you need to let the, notify the lender of how much you plan on, on getting borrowing from them to cover the cost of the material and labor for the, the bids that you're getting. That's always the hardest part of our program, you know, getting the bids. So if you already own the home and you want to remodel it, obviously you can get all those first before we even start the loan. If you go out and buy a house, you have to be fairly fast. We have contractors that have done jobs for us. We will recommend those people because we know they can do good work. You can have your own contractor. Um, it just takes a little bit longer to get them verified, etc. So the hardest part of this is getting the bids. So you have to keep in mind if it's a, a very extensive rehab, it's a larger home. You plan on doing a lot to the home. It's going to be a little more work, more more red tape collecting the bids because it's a bigger project. If it's a smaller project, obviously it can go a lot more quickly because there's less bids involved. In the two or three K limited, you're going to get two draws. You're going to get one about ten days after you close for half the money. They give that to the contractor, he's, and he can start to work until you close. He's just saying, I'm going to get paid for 10 days. And then, when that whole job's done, you have six months to do the work. When it's all done, you get the other check. Under the standard or full, you're going to get a draw. So, it's going to have no money up front. You can have one to five draws. Uh, five draws, you get 20% minus 10% holdback. Keep the contractor honest and on the job. So. You know, that goes on until all those are done. Again, you only have six months. Before. For those who might not understand what a draw is, so you're not getting all the rehab money up front at closing. Right. It's done in phases, exactly. I guess. As work is done, then the lender will release funds to cover that part of the you know, right. project, right. and then you move on to the next phase of the project. Right. Generally, the contractor doesn't stop during this process, so he's continuing to work. Uh, under the full standard, uh, you're going to have a HUD consultant involved, and that's a big deal. Okay. Uh, most times we'll even su su uh, su suggest that on the limited um, because if you have a HUD consultant involved, he's going to tell you up front what it's going to cost. You know, he'll give you his estimate because you're very familiar with these programs. So you have help if you're unfamiliar with what stuff costs. Correct, right, right. But as you have appraisals involved, they do an after repair value appraisal, so you're not over rehabbing a house. Correct, right. So they're going to do the appraisal as if it's finished, not like it's sitting there. So they're going to compare it to other houses in the neighborhood and what you're going to do to the house, and that's how they get come up with an after-proof value. So 
some people walked away with a hundred thousand dollars worth of equity in their home, which is phenomenal. So that's the kingpin for me. Hundred thousand dollars worth of equity. That was awesome. So but you can generally get that instant equity at home. So that's one way to do it. And as one of our guys that used to work for us said, you're gonna take the house you like and make it the home love, which is important. So and there's so limited inventory out there now. We only have one fourth 1.4 million homes in the market right now, and there's over 375 million people living in the United States. So you can see what the odds are of getting that house. Most people don't want a house they have to rehab. So you have a pretty good chance of getting that house if you're going to rehab it. Yeah, you can pick out your own selections. You can right. pick out your own finishes, the kind of countertops you want, the kind of tile, color, paint colors. Right. So there is benefits. It is work, don't get me wrong. You know, rehabbing a house is not easy. I've done some moments. It can be a nightmare sometimes, but when it's your own home and you can focus on the things you want, at the end of the day, you're gonna be happy with the product because you got to you know, be involved with the selection process for the finishes.